So we want to find the length of the indicated curve from one third to x equals five for this. So what we're going to do is the equation is going to be one plus, oops. Let's say that um, our standard equation is just four x raised to the three halves and our y prime or f prime of x is going to be equal to the derivative of this is four times three halves is equal to six x raised to the one half. So our length is going to be equal to integral of one third to five or the square root of one plus six x raised to the one half squared dx. And we're going to use u substitution. All right, so this is equal to six x so square root, and actually we're going to use um, x, not x, 1 plus 36x raised to the 1 half. So u raised to the 1 half and du. So our du is going to be equal. Yeah, this is all over the place, but um, just bear with me. So du is going to be equal to 36 times 1 half, which is equal to... Um, actually, should be two thirds. Because of this. All right, so. Okay, so what we end up with is. 2 over from 1 third to 5. So 2 over 108 is equal to 1 over 54. And then we do the 1 times 36 times 5. We end up with 181 minus 1 third. So 1 third of 36 is going to be 12 plus 1, which is going to be equal to 13. I should mention these are all raised to the 3 halves. Okay, so ultimately, I mean, you can factor these out a little bit. So you could have like 181 times the square root of 181, but we'll just leave it like that. So this is the solution right here. This is the length of the curve. But approximately what this ends up being equal to is equal to 44.2. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.